one super sock plus 11 pounds is 53 pounds. Peanut Equations. What you do on one side, you have to do on the other. If I take away some minifigures here, I have to subtract the same amount on the other side as well. If I'm going to keep balance, if I add a minifigure to one side, I have to add a minifigure onto the other side too. B for banana. No, just B. B plus four is equal to seven. So what is B? Well, here's the good news. Oh, Hezzy Man says it's three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this four. We're gonna subtract four on both sides. If we subtract four on both sides, that's gonna cancel out the fours over here. Now, why do we do it on both sides? It's because what you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So, you have a big old whopping zero, zero, when you do four minus four, so get rid of those, and you just have B equals seven, minus four. Well, you guys know what seven minus four is. Three. It's what Hezzy said at the beginning. It's three. So B is equal to three. Not a banana. It's equal to three. <laughs> 12 plus X equals... <clears throat> no, not banana. 12 plus X equals 34. Bananas. No, not bananas. Just 34. Okay. Now, we want to get this X we don't know what it is. So let's subtract 12. And what you do on one side of the equation, you have to do on the other. Oh, bananas. Let's subtract 12 from both sides. If we do that, we should be okay. Goodbye, bananas. 12 minus 12, you know what that is. That's a big old whopping zero. So all we have left is just good old fashioned X, which is equal to 34 minus 12. And no, banana is not a part of this. 34 take away 12, that's easy. You guys know what 34 take away 12 is. It's not bananas, it's good old 22. So X is equal to 22. No bananas. <laughs> Ain't so bad, right? What you add on one side, you must add on the other. Same for subtraction, multiplication, or division. Q minus 15 is two. Hmm, so what are we gonna do? We gotta figure out what Q is. How do we get there? Big guy says it's 17. How do we know? Well, if we do this on the left side, we gotta do it on the right side. We're trying to get Q by itself. That's the goal. So if I add 15, I'll get a big old whopping zero on this side. So 15 minus 15, yep, that's good old zero. Goodbye. That means Q is equal to two plus 15. I think the big guy already said the answer. 2 plus 15, it's good old 17. Bananas? No, just regular old 17. Q is 17, good job. Keep those scales balanced. Don't get scared, this is a tough one. K minus six is equal to negative one. Well, we wanna get rid of that six. So all we need to do is add six to both sides. This is a one step equation. We do this because six minus six is a good old whopping zero. So these guys are gone and you just get K is by itself. What do you have left? You have six minus one. Oh, but that's not scary. Six minus one, you take away one from six, you just get good old five. And indeed, you can see that five minus six is equal to minus one when you check the original equation. 1.5 plus J is equal to three. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the 1.5 by subtracting it 